Okay, so today we are going to talk about the, we'll talk about, we're going to learn the Kylo Ren move. Okay, so it, everybody see Force Awakens? Yes? Yes, okay, so no spoilers. Okay, so, well, you know, if it's this, if you haven't seen it at this point, it's your fault. Yeah, the spoilers are your fault. <laughs> you know, so, okay, so anyway. <clears throat> If you saw the Kylo Ren uh, fight at the end of the movie with Rey and Finn, okay, um, a lot of people have voiced a lot of opinions on it and everything like that. Um, I love that fight. I thought it was a great, it was a really, really great uh, cinematic fight. It, it got through both of the characters and it got through a whole lot of plot so it wasn't just a brawl it wasn't, and it wasn't like in the prequels where it was kind of like time out to do a bunch of acrobatics or do the same little pattern over and over and over again That's, although he does sort of do the same pattern over and over again um, but they do it in a much more realistic way now if you one of the reasons I like it is because Kylo Ren fights kind of exactly how I would expect him to right if He's noticed that he's the only one that noticeably has a lightsaber amongst the lights of Knights of Ren, if we can believe that, right? You only ever see the, the, the red crossbow, right? Um, and so he's not necessarily probably used to fighting other people with lightsabers, okay? Um, so he doesn't, probably doesn't have a whole lot of opponents. One of the things that he does all the time, and if you go back go frame by frame to the thing, is there is a move like this, right? Now, sometimes he'll just do it walking forward. Other times he'll do it spinning. So like that, okay? Um, the famous the, the, the famous one where he comes at Finn um, and he does the spin where he, he, he comes in this way, this way, and it spins around and comes down like that. Okay, those are all the same things because he's here, here, and then this right here. You see this whip, boom, like that. Okay, so what this is right here is a parry to right some sort of strike. Okay, yep, it's just like in Shicho. Okay, and this is why we do it. It's an extremely high percentage move because it covers a lot of area in front of you, okay, it allows you to stay kind of moving but still covered, right, and it allows you to act on the person's weapon and reverse a strike. It can be done as easily as you see me doing it one-handed here or two-handed, okay, and I believe he does do it both, both ways, okay. So the first thing that we have to do is get the actual move down. So the most common way that he does it in the movie, right, and we'll just use this as a basic pattern, okay, is to, if we use our zones, right, to zone three here, sweep around here to zone five, then he brings it up like this, turns around to there. Okay? Now if we omit the spin, all that is, all that looks like is this. Okay? Now you can come down to this side to the zone three, you can come down to this side, zone two, you can come down to zone one, all that kind of thing. So you'll notice that he's doing he does a lot of this of this kind of thing. Right there. So we're we're just we'll start out with that. We'll We'll, we'll separate here, and we're going to go one to zone three, one to zone five, bring it up, and then another one to zone three. Does that make sense? Okay, and then we will look at how how it's used. When he's coming at when he's coming at Finn, he goes one, two, and he comes right here. Look, go ahead, you're Finn. Boom. Oh, oh, right. Okay. So that's why when when Finn does it, he kind of backs up like that. 